Hello, what? Right. Hello, everyone. It's A1 Pro 2003 here, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to show you how to break through a firewall. Uh, today we're going to be using Netcat. I'll leave the link to the description below. Now you can go on YouTube and search for videos explaining what Netcat is, but I believe it is a firewall breaking tool which allows you to bypass the firewall. Uh, you can also ping I can also uh, scan your local kind of internet it can scan for IP addresses I mean for ping and for open ports which obviously allow you to hack as well and that's basically what we're gonna use today we're gonna be using netcar and host I mean ports and basically yeah so netcar should look something like this basically that and nothing much so the main thing is this nc.exe now uh, if you don't trust me you can go on google and type in uh, netcut download and the first link which says netcut uh, 1.11.4 windows 30 on windows 64 uh, is the link uh, now this works I believe it works on Mac, Linux, and what is it called? And Windows, I think. I don't think in Linux, but it does work for Mac and Windows. Now, the way I open up, uh, the way I open up uh, Netcat is because I have Netcat on my local disk. So you see local disk and there it is nc because i have it there all i have to type is cd dot dot and do it twice and if i type in nc uh, minus h which is hot if that pops up it was working if it's not then it's not now do not have to do this the same way if you have an enough folder uh like in my location which where i have it here on my desktop if you open it and copy the url so my one is in the c colon backslash users backslash backslash del backslash desktop backslash backslash nc111 nt we are copy that so copy and go to your cmd type in cd space then paste it and that will take you to the folder and as you see where it says this where it says that if that pops up it's good it's good to go uh, now how to check it as I, as I said before type in nc minus hop and if that pops pops up it's working now today I'm going to be using TeamViewer because it will help it will be helpful as I have two computers in one instead of uh, switching from computer to computer I got Windows 10 in my right hand side and my Windows 10 in my left hand they both have the same kind of settings so the NC is in the local disk and now oh wait yeah I, I tried doing the video already now to let's start the hacking so first thing you want to know is the IP of so my Windows 10 is gonna be the host and my Windows 10 is gonna be the sub the client. You want to know the IP for the sub client of the client. Now there's different ways to do it because I don't want this video to go into much detail. I'm just gonna do this quick. So I'm gonna go on the computer and I'm gonna type in IP config. This all this should pop up. You wanna go up scroll up to say to where it says IPv4 address. Now, if you copy the numbers, so if you know the numbers, uh, in the host, you just want to type in nc to launch, uh, netcat space the IP, so 192.168.0.7 and then in a hot, in a port. Now, the port that I always use is 4520. Why? Because it works. I don't know why. But it works.
and tap enter step one done now the in the service in the client it's gonna it's kind of more complicated more complex so you want to type in again nc to launch your app minus l minus p uh listening so the l stands for listening uh and the p stands for ports uh space and the port now so i mean the p yeah, yeah the p stands for port type in the port the port 4520 space minus e now the minus e will make the commands from the host to be launched with the program that we're gonna name now so that's basically what E makes does and the program that we're gonna use is obviously the thing that we all use cmd dot exe type enter and note this gone so just do it again and now that should pop up great it should look like nothing happened that should be still blinking and this should be blinking as well uh, now you think this is it well basically it is if we type in a star actually wait let me just do something let me just, let me just show you how it works now this cmd window is not connected to nothing if I type in the start a uh, new window will appear in my window 7 okay if I type in start in my connection CMD window watch this CMD will appear in my windows 10 now to proof uh, it's not fake see uh, I cannot take it out of the window which is in which is basically meaning that it is working on the windows 7 if I type in start and here it will open up another one and so on now uh tricks that you can use that you can do with this you can obviously type in start uh you can type in shut down minus s minus t the s is for self so shut down self so i don't know kind of the s is to shut down your own computer the t is for time so it goes in seconds so i'll just type 30 space minus c that is set, uh, stands for message so the uh, have to write the message with the colon so ha 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 ha, ha. but uh close colons now watch what's gonna stay on my windows 7 i mean windows 10 wait you're about to be signed off and it says okay now to turn it off obviously i've obviously put 30 seconds i'm I'm in danger now, so shut down minus A. That's to cancel the shutdown, which it just said right there. Lock off is cancelled. Pretty sick, isn't it? I know. Okay, now another thing would be uh, <coughs> uh, start explorer dot exe. That will open up the library kind of this. It will open up that. So enter and there you go now yeah for uh you obviously need a start for everything because then it's not gonna launch uh jumping out into explorer start i explorer without an r at the end dot exe the i that's for internet obviously an explorer and then enter wait enter and then there you go we got internet, we got Google. Uh, that's basically it, guys. So I hope you really enjoyed this. Uh, uh, next video I'm gonna be showing you how to talk with Netcat, which I pretty much like. It's kind of in the same way, but it's less complex. So guys, I hope you liked it. Uh, please check out the link in the description. Uh, I hope you liked it and see you next time.